Hey guys, welcome to One Minute PM again. Uh, today we have Aisha from Mumbai, and uh, she is a beauty and transformation coach. Uh, I've seen her profile. You know, awesome transformation. You know, a lot of clients, a lot of photographs. Uh, the best part is I love the team and uh, the energy she spreads across when she is working or on uh, different activities or projects or shoots or fashion shows. Um, the entire you know events are just bubbly and you know uh, cheerful. So thanks, Aisha, for joining in. Maybe you can introduce yourself to the friends here. And thanks for taking time out uh, during this particular pandemic. I, I know the situation is not that great out there, um, yeah. but thanks for joining in. So over to you. Thank you so much, Ravi, for this introduction. Um, so hi, guys. I am Aisha Wadiwala. I am a makeup artist, and now I am also beauty and transformation coach. Uh, <coughs> A lot of people ask me what is beauty and transformation coach because makeup artist is a very very common term. But I feel like uh, so my journey started as a makeup artist, but uh, over the period of a couple of years, I realized that uh, makeup is just one aspect of beauty, and it doesn't it it's it's a very important aspect of beauty, but it's not complete without working from within. So. Uh, like I like to use this analogy uh, of a cake. Like a cake looks really good with beautiful dressing. Like if you put a great frosting and dressing, it looks good. But if you don't bake the cake well, it won't taste good. So the purpose is not solved. And I feel like beauty is similar. Like if you're not happy from within, if you're not glowing from inside, if you know, if you don't take care of your skin, you know, if you don't take care of your nutrition, uh, it won't. The glow cannot come. You know. So it's it's like is you can make up as like the cherry on the cake so th it's very important to, to decorate the cake but it's important to bake the cake well uh, so i feel that kind of led me and my own personal journey of uh, how i change myself you know uh, the way i uh, think the way i take care of myself the way i take care of my skin and the the difference is made in my life you know i feel is much more than just applying a like a layer of makeup. So that's the main purpose of what I do is I coach women to look and feel beautiful inside out. So that's like my mission and purpose. And I thoroughly enjoy it because I feel like women need to step up and you know celebrate themselves and totally show up and look fabulous, feel fabulous. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. Feeling fabulous is, uh, you know, the mantra. I think, you know, people who are not doing that, I think they're missing something in life. But when did you start this? You know, how did your journey start uh, in this particular, uh, as a career, as a passion? Okay, so uh, I started my career in 2011. Uh, I actually accidentally became an artist. Uh, so my, my best friend was getting married and she's a corporate and she never wore makeup in her life. So she went for several trials and she didn't like what people were doing and uh, she just came to me and she's like so i've i've been an artist i've paint since childhood so i always like to do my eyes and like wear a certain color i love playing with colors so she's like you know what i like what you do and i don't want to look like made up and all on my marriage i want to look like myself so why don't you do something on me and see so just out of fun i was like okay let's try this let's try that and she's like this is exactly what i want and I'm like, are you sure? Because, you know, she was having this really grand wedding and she's like, yeah, yeah, this is how I want to look. This is me. I don't want to look dolled up and, you know, like caked up. So I was like, okay. So it was like a fun thing for me. So we, and it was a really healing thing for me because I was getting out of my separation. I got divorced in 2010 and I was just figuring out what do I do? Should I pursue my studies back? Because I got married really early. I had a kid really early. So my daughter is 13. So uh, she just turned 13 last week. So yeah, so I was just figuring out, like I got divorced and what do I do? And this just came my way. So I was just having fun. I got involved in the process of making her a bride. We went clothes shopping. We, I started like putting on a skin regime, then finding a good hairstylist and putting up the whole look together. It was like, I just felt, oh my God, this is so much fun. And we did it and people loved it. And everyone started asking me like, do you do it? And do you like do brides? and it just came my way. It's, it was just like, I felt like oh, this looks like I should do this. Like, you know, let's, let's give it a shot. And that's how I started. And uh, I was enjoying a lot. 
and then i assisted a few people uh, in the beginning of my journey i got to work with some great photographers uh, i got associated with pita because i believe a lot in their cause mm -hmm. so that gave me an opportunity to work with a lot of celebrities like sunny leon jackie fernandez jackie fernandez and tara sharma um, i don't even know ada sharma so many of them you know and i was enjoying this whole process and uh, yeah that's how it started and then i realized that okay you know what like i need to know more about beauty so there was this whole uh, want to know more so i became i started learning like while i was working i was learning and that's how my journey began in makeup yeah this was a good example not only uh, about your passion but you know uh, when you had this hard stop or you know when you had this separation uh, you you didn't give up but you continued your passion uh, more aggressively Uh, so I, I think this is a very good example for a lot of women who are still trying to explore what to do uh, next. It's And very very important, I feel, Ravi, because I guess like uh, we all go through this phase in life sometimes when we feel like what next? And oh my God, like how how mm -hmm. how will things happen? And one very important aspect of my coaching is. Uh, believing in yourself and uh, stepping up into your power because i think we all have that power within us we just need to tap into it and the sky is the limit so i have some photograph of yours which i stalked okay. your file and i picked up from your profile so okay. uh, so can can you talk about these photographs this is one photograph uh, with <laughs> <laughs> so Okay, so, so this, this photograph, who is uh, this person, and where was this event? <laughs> He is just a very, very good friend from Life Plugin. Uh, so I am a part of this tribe called Life Plugin, and I feel like it's one of the most important aspects of my life now. It's a personal growth festival that happens twice a year in mm -hmm. India, and it's about uh, everything from biohacking to meditation to everything, and it's like a festival. So we all go there, we celebrate ourselves, we better ourselves we work on each other and on the last day we have these fab parties uh, so this was one the party last year where we were having like a costume theme so i was like dressed up as a greek goddess and he's a friend so it was just one of those moments and fun pictures he's just like like i in fact met him on that festival so this was the third day of knowing him but he was like we were calling him jesus christ so it was just a picture that we clicked together Yeah, this is awesome picture. You're one of the reason uh, this attracted uh, my attention is because uh, you know I I always have this in my bucket list. One year for a hippie to become. So I I, <laughs> so I am a hippie soul. I have come yeah. to this conclusion about myself, and uh, that's why I love like uh, the most beautiful part about this tribe and this festival is we all get to be ourselves and become better and better. But no one is like. so it's like so much fun you know and i think personal growth has to be a lot of fun and unless you're happy and you like have fun you know yeah. <laughs> you can't totally like align you know so i think it should be a lot of fun life should be a lot of fun yeah that's so what i'm going for it's like i have like so like minded much. yeah we have a like minded uh, fan kanchan she is also asking how to be a part okay. of this festival So we both are okay. joining. So, <laughs> so Kanchan, uh, I can send you details. It's a website. Unfortunately, the April event got cancelled because of Corona. But it happens in April in Shimla and October in Goa. If you go on lifeplugin. dot com, you'll get there all the information. And I would highly recommend everyone to attend this festival once. The founders are really dear friends now. It's really close to my heart. I found some gems and some very important friends that are part of my inner circle from here. and it's it's a beautiful place to be in kanchan so check the site out yeah cool kanchan be ready <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. so the next photograph uh, is uh, oh oh my god this is one of the most memorable trip of my life uh, that girl there she is the most amazing artist like in my opinion like i've traveled everywhere i've worked with various artists but if i have to like say that if i like some artist and i i would aspire to be like her that's that girl live she's a serbian uh, i stalk i found her on internet like years ago so i've never done a formal makeup course but i've done a lot of work but in 2018 i had this calling that i want to learn high fashion i want to like learn face painting and stuff like that and i couldn't find someone good and then i found her 
and uh, she was that time in a contract and then she left dubai and i followed her and she's like you have to come to this place called subotica it's a very small quaint town in europe where she stays and i never even knew that place existed mm-hmm. and i wouldn't know how to go there and yeah i ended up going there and uh, i had the most amazing one month i lived with her i worked with her we created looks i taught english like the pe- people out there don't know english so she was the only girl and by the end of the day i had like mad friends and i felt like i'm a part like i want to go back like they're my family now so it was amazing see one best thing when you're traveling and you know you, you're very uh, you make a lot of friends you you've yeah. got the family everywhere and that's what i'm trying to create here uh, that's the secret i share so i'm trying to create family across friends across so that you never i travel whenever i become hippie so i have a place to sit <laughs> So that happens automatically I feel you know like I honestly have friends everywhere I travel so the when the next time I go there it's like I just call and I just I don't even know what I'm going to do I just say call and I show up and I have the most amazing and memorable time because it's just like is because you're just in that vibe you know Cool Next photograph <laughs> Again so we are it's like one of the mad mad trips we were having fun creating looks uh just crazy because this is when uh lives boyfriend said something and we were making fun of him and he's like he's tell me that i'm crazy because <laughs> i used to keep teasing him all the time so it was one of those things that he was trying to, he was telling me to post for like a formal like back, back behind the scenes pictures and this is how i behave it was like crazy one of those mad, mad moments yeah and this this is the uh, this is one of the pictures where you are laughing out loud and yeah. you know, that's being captured so and also this is at your workplace and that that's a difference this is how i am actually and you are being you know you're not doing a shoot etc this is at workplace when you're working and enjoying the work yeah. i mean this, this is uh, this picture talks about that so it's pretty good picture <laughs> i think it's very important to laugh and have fun like it's my playful out <laughs> cool but aisha we want to know more of you uh, one thing which i uh, understood which i couldn't make out from the pictures is that you are a hippie so and about the event which is good yeah. <laughs> so let's let's dig in more uh, okay. your childhood favorite tv show my favorite tv show uh, yeah during the childhood okay my childhood favorite tv show was small wonder it was this oh, robot who could do anything and it could be anything like so i used to be very fascinated ke like you know i wish i had like it, it was it was like a robot genie you know so yeah that was a favorite you used to really fascinate me a lot okay, which channel was it on doordarshan or uh, was it no i used to get these uh, small wonder later i think it came it was like one international show uh mm-hmm. where there's this robot and i think they recreated it in hindi but it didn't like work so much but it was this doll who was like you could you could do anything so my mama used to stay abroad and used to get us these cassettes of the show recorded okay. cassettes so yeah it was my favorite show as so a child and mogli we see us playing those times yeah and i used to love mogli i used to be like i uh, think he's such a free spirit he's so lucky he's living with all these animals in a jungle so i used to feel like yeah so jungle book also cool your favorite junk food then and now i'm not too fond of junk uh because i didn't like the, i i'll eat it now but i'm not actually fond of junk it probably would be like cakes and pastries yeah that's my sin chocolate cakes your favorite season of the uh, year okay i love uh, winter mm-hmm. the most because i think it just makes me vibe in a very high uh, frequency uh in mumbai i love rains because they very romantic and they very lazy and they make me have a lot of coffee and tea uh but yeah winter i hate summers so has it uh, started raining there or uh, because it's yeah but unfortunately it's, it's raining and it's getting hot so like i'm really wanting it to rain like i love the fa- i love it when it gets cra- flooded and no one can go anywhere and everyone stands at home <laughs> I'm like I love it. I was like, you know, everyone's healthy is they want they can't do shit and they just can sit in the window and like look at the rain. I just love that thing, you know, like Okay. And what what season keeps you busy at work? 
Okay, so uh, uh, when in normal days, unlike the times you're facing right now, it's uh, October to Feb, very mm -hmm. busy, and uh, then it's uh, maybe the April May season where there's summer holidays. Yeah, so if, that time I do a lot of weddings in New Year also actually. Cool. What's your super 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 strength, Aisha? Super super strength. Strength. Okay, I would like to believe that my super strength is that I can laugh through situations and mm -hmm. I can see them. Uh, it's not come easily, but I feel like it's come with time and experience that I can see things as an experience rather than seeing it as good or bad. Like if it's good, wow, let's have fun. And if it's bad, like what can I learn and how can I have fun while facing the situation? So what does your daughter feel that uh, mom has these super strengths in her words in her words according to my daughter i'm mad i'm crazy <laughs> so my daughter is a very <laughs> sorted soul uh, like it was a birthday last week on 6 june mm -hmm. and i was like so she turned 13 so it was like a very emotional moment for me because i was like oh my god my daughter's a teenager now you know like i feel like a teenager myself <laughs> so so I was like, oh my God, Sam, and I got to see her after three months because she lives in town with her father. And because of the lockdown, uh, she couldn't come and stay with me on weekends. Otherwise, she's with me on weekends and weekdays, she's with her dad. So uh, I was like, I hugged her and I was like, oh my God, Sam, you've grown up so fast. And she's like, I did, but when will you? <laughs> so she thinks the fact that I'm very childlike is my strength. And she she thinks I should never lose, lose that side of myself. Yeah, yeah. She, she's pretty cute. and. Uh... Yeah, most of the uh, you know profiles of your profession, people are very you know they they have profiles which are misleading. So, but after profile, my first thing you can see is uh, your recent post uh, about your daughter when she turned thirteen. Yeah, she turned thirteen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. I got a lot of messages saying, "Oh my God, you got a thirteen-year-old!" I was like, yeah, I feel yeah. so proud about it. <laughs> we literally grew up together. So yeah. Cool. So how does how long does it take for you to get ready? I mean, you, you're an artist now and then you know you're a coach. But okay, so it depends great. on the mood. If I'm in the mood to really like indulge in makeup and like really create a look, then probably half an hour, 45 minutes. Otherwise, it's uh, 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Okay, so and uh, is it the same uh, when you go to a party, a uh, casual friends party, do you, do you dress up or do you uh, prefer being simple? Uh, I, I'm probably one of the artists, I don't like wearing a lot of makeup all the time. So I'm just like how I'm right now, like just a little bit of space. Like, see, I think that it's important that your personality shows through makeup. Even my philosophy of makeup is less is more. And I think one thing which my brides love about my work and probably the reason they like to hire me is because they feel like I make them look like themselves as opposed to trying to make them look like someone else. So I think it also reflects in my own uh, grooming. Uh, I like to like obviously work a little bit on my skin because it's my profession but I want my flaws to show through them because I feel it's important like your flaws make you beautiful. You're a profession right so you know can you make out did, did I do uh, any makeup on me or? Uh... No. No? Sure? <laughs> yeah it's that's just good lighting. <laughs> yeah yeah so there's no makeup I'm just yeah the way it is so yeah your favorite holiday Aisha my favorite holiday the spot of my favorite holiday so far uh, mm -hmm. okay so my favorite one of my favorite holidays was uh, what I had in Dubai with my girl gang in 2015 it was a very random impromptu holiday and we landed up having a lot of fun like we did so much in those five days that it's like we Whenever we see, we relive of those moments. Uh, yeah, that was a favorite holiday. So, what is the notorious, most notorious things you girls can get? which is like most memorable, which Dubai government still uh, has it in their file. So, what was that moment? <laughs> we created a ruckus on the yacht we were on, and like they were like strict with rules and stuff, and we were like really loud, and we were like you know the Indians going crazy. So. And uh, there were a lot of like Arabs with us uh, on the yacht, and yeah, the most notorious thing is that we made everyone dance to Bollywood. <laughs> the people who never heard Bollywood were dancing to Bollywood. Yeah, that's nice. 
So what's your nickname your parents call you with? Okay, so my dad, I, my dad's no more, but I lost him when I was 10. He used to call me Kapu. Kapu. And, yeah, that was like his, like, he used to think that I, like, he liked the way I spoke, so he used to call me a Kapu. Um, my mom calls me, uh, my friends call me Aisha or Ash or something. Yeah. It was my dad's name, which I was like, Kapu was my favorite, yeah. Cool. Thank you, name. Uh, do you prefer texting or talking? Talking. Talking, yeah. Funniest <laughs> moment in life which you couldn't control laughing. Fun. Except so funny, yeah. Funny like moment, moment when I didn't control laughing. There's so many and I can't think of one, but... Um, okay, uh, when I uh, landed up for a bridal, like I landed up for a, like makeup a month before the actual date because I, it somehow was in that planner and I went and I called and some of the girl was also not understanding it. She's like, yeah, yeah. And I landed up with my team all set and I got to know her date is like a month later and we all had a big laugh because I quite <laughs> very chill. I like to have lunch with her and she's like, what were you thinking? And I said, but we spoke yesterday. She's like, yeah, but I thought like, you know, generally they keep in touch because I also tell recommend skincare and everything and she's like I thought you must be in the area so you must be dropping by and stuff and I go with my whole team with my assistant and my hairstylist and I'm like okay the wedding is next month so yeah I've done a lot of that like I land up for a flight in the evening at 4 5 when it's like it's 5 in the morning and I'm not seeing it properly and then like the flight's gone in the morning and I'm like at the airport yeah, yeah like so I've done a lot of that so yeah yeah, I've done that flight thing myself, so you know, booked it, uh, yeah. you know, uh, without properly checking the dates. Yeah. Um, once we went to Bangalore for a business trip, we were supposed to fly in the morning, meet, and yeah. then fly back in the evening. We didn't check the tickets. The admin thought we are staying there for a night. We we entered the airport, uh, and they said, "Sir, it's too early." I said, "No, we are just two hours early." Then the flight said, "No, sir, you're <laughs> 24 hours early." And you know, it is so tough to go out of the uh, airport once you, you know, uh, get inside. You know, you yeah. have, you know, have a register, pass, everything done, and then you know, explanation given, and then come out. So yeah, I, I can relate to what you're saying. So, do you like to experiment new things in life? A lot. I feel uh, I hate monotony, so I'm always experimenting when it comes to my makeup. My own hair, like I made my hair red now, it's all faded out, but um, I like experimenting with looks, I like experimenting with food, um, everything actually, like I love experimenting, I feel like it's one life and if you don't experiment, how would you know how good or bad it is, you know, so it's important to experiment. Cool. Your favorite teacher in high school? There was a uh, sir called Sir Dubey, my maths teacher. And mm -hmm. he was my favorite because uh, he was one of the teachers who liked me a lot. Uh, <laughs> and I was really good at math. Uh, other teachers all hated me because they were like, I was very good at studies, but I was very naughty. So I drove them up the wall all the time. So yeah, it was so good. Cool. What, what's your favorite feature, Aisha? Favorite feature, like my features? Mm -hmm. uh, my eyes, because I get it a lot. So. And, and that's from your mom, right? Yeah. I, I with your mom. So. Yes, it comes from her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So think, let, let's go back uh, to 80s and 90s. What was your uh, favorite fashion trend? Favorite fashion? Trend. Trend. Okay. Um, 80s, I guess, was uh, the whole, uh, you know, like it's the glossy look, lips that came in with Madhuri and stuff. I used to really like that. They used to like outline from outside, make the lips look big and make them really glossy. Uh, my favorite fashion era was before I was born, like the 70s, because I feel like it was like a hippie era with like polka dots and like uh, really uh, winged liner, Ufo, like Zena the Man and stuff. So I used to like that more. Like I think I'm not so much a big fan of 80s and 90s, but I'm more of a fan of late 60s and 70s. Your favorite boy band during your childhood? Boy Zone. Boy Zone? Yeah. Like everyone is born in the 80s. 
favorite movie uh, during your childhood favorite movie as a child was because i saw this a lot there was this movie of amol kalega called golmal so i see it a lot and i find it extremely hilarious so yeah okay what is the beauty brand you personally trust I and mean, this is not for promotion but you know you yeah. personally feel that, that the products of that particular brand are like something which you can rely on okay so there's my most favorite beauty brand uh, would be bobby brown Mm-hmm. because uh, i love the uh, quality and i love the fact that they celebrate every skin color so the focus of the brand or the brand message is about love we love the skin you're in so you can be a brown color and they'll have a fabulous brown uh, foundation for you so you like you look like the best of who you are which i love so yeah bobby brown so do you prefer natural stuff uh, or you know cosmetics clinical cosmetics uh i feel like both have like so because i'm also a lot in skin and i study it very like deeply i feel like natural products are definitely very good a lot of things that in your kitchen can really help you a lot with your everyday skin maintenance but there are certain products like when you start aging like retinol and hyaluronic acid which are not easily found in natural products now there's a so i feel like a combination of both awareness and knowledge and that can really like help you good and any uh, product that you cannot live uh, without. without i can't live without my vitamin c serum i okay. can't live without it your uh, best beauty blogging which you follow and any inspiration people around the blogger i follow mm-hmm. um actually um uh, no no <laughs> you, yeah you, i think you're going to a stage where following but then i feel like uh, it's a lot of like i don't uh, i used to follow this really amazing youtube blogger called tamang fan i don't see her any more uh, she got like endorsed by lancome later and she used to create looks she was an artist you know so i used to follow her but nobody else now lately no okay so that finishes the rapid fire question but one thing in my mind uh, you know because you know i have an expert uh, with me live so what are the changes i can do to me <laughs> so that i have better audience better views you know this is like you have i was asking something the internet couldn't take it so we got disconnected so <laughs> did you hear what i was asking no i no. you just froze on my screen so yeah yeah so i was asking what what are the changes i need to do on myself so that i have you know better shows and uh, i think know, you've got yeah. great skin uh, you you've got the lighting correct okay so uh, yeah i think you you're good i feel like you're talking to somebody who really believes in being who you are i think the only tip i would give you is be more of who you are like just be yourself and that will shine through thank you <laughs> so now coming to the main question so one minute cm so if you become the chief minister and uh, you know for four years so what are the areas you would focus on so you have a minute to answer that okay so i feel uh, if i was a cm i mean i'm a very apolitical person i don't understand a lot of things but if i see it from my paradigm uh, i think my focus would be on including uh, a new way of education uh mm-hmm. because i feel uh, like being having a daughter myself i feel like it's come a long way compared to our education system how it was 20 years ago but i feel there is a lot of uh, changes required because life changed a lot uh you know everything is available on the internet so our our time it was more about seeing the information storing it and putting it out on the paper we don't need to store any more information because we have everything available on a click of a finger so i feel the focus should be more on what to do with that information how uh, to make it more useful and practical and also a very important thing i feel which is very important to include in the education system is no one teaches you how to think it's all about a given way of like this is it you study this and go write this it doesn't make you uh, go about life like today i don't know what i did, learned in history uh who who fought shivaj like the war i don't remember 
but what i'll remember is how i can go about situations so i think i think a lot of personal growth should be included in uh, education because i have been a very big student of personal growth in the past 7 8 years and it's really changed my life so there should be emphasis on what to how to think right how to have the right mindset uh, the right attitude social skills i think those things are not in, in, included in our education system and i feel it's really outdated so that would be my one focus second would be women i feel like uh, I'm, i don't i'm not a feminist but uh, i feel like um, we are a very patriarchal society so uh empowering women and uh telling them to show up and go there achieve their dreams there has to be a little more like emphasis on that uh as opposed to what it is uh yeah that's one thing which i would focus on uh do i have more time i think i would also focus on art uh a lot because i feel like when i was growing up and i see a lot parents are very focused on academics but i feel like there should be a focus on so many other things luckily it's a thing now but yeah so maybe art do i have more time yeah you you if you've got a point yes please go ahead okay yeah so yeah i mean these areas i would focus on uh, also make education a lot of fun because i feel like anything which is fun always remains in your memory because that's how our mind works so i feel like education has to be a lot of fun kids should want to go to school like oh my god i'm going to go to school and have so much fun today as opposed to oh my god i wish i could bunk so yeah good points i think most of the uh, points uh, related to uh, one minute cm questions are related to education and you know i understand what what you're trying to say is you know things have to change and you know what we've seen in the last couple of months i'm sure uh, there is a lot of emphasis on you know how we learn how what we do at home you know things which we can manage from home so yeah. you know, any any message we want to give for your fertility people how, who are into uh, beauty industry so any tips for them because you know a lot of things have changed you you're not no more interacting with people which you really love you know talk to them meet them in person yeah. things are opening up now so anything you want to say about uh, to them or for this particular segment Okay so i think one one of my message would be for my fellow makeup artists and beauty consultants that hang in there things will be fine because a lot of people are panicking uh, there's no human touch beauty is all about touching makeup is all about you know like doing things on the face but i feel like maybe this is a time we could uh, diversify so one way i'm diversifying is i'm trying to make online programs there are a lot of people wanting to learn how to do their own makeup how to take care of their skin better online you know uh because they are at home and they could do things but so i think uh every uh problem is an opportunity so i feel like this is an opportunity for us to explore the digital platform and see what we can do work on our digital presence and uh, this is the way forward i feel so it's important like and i feel like nature gave us this break to put our act together and go dig- digital so i think that will work and things will get back people will not stop wanting to look good people will still want to look pretty and people will still so things will get better but i think this is a great time to explore uh, new platforms yeah thank you aisha thank thanks for these messages and you know thank you for taking time out and joining yeah. us um uh, thank you all the best all the best in what you're doing uh, you know we we have couple of like minded people who have seen this particular show who will also join your tiki gang and you know <laughs> it sure. whenever it's possible uh, but it it's nice to connect with uh, people who are lively uh, in whatever they do it gives a lot of uh, inspiration for others who you know who are uh, out there so you know keep living the moment enjoy yourself spread positive beauty and uh, yeah any, any help you need from uh, the work fraternity people who have done these shows just ask for it and uh, we'll we'll try to help That's you out. amazing thank you so much and i would like love to congratulate you because i was just exploring your work and i like this whole platform you have created and i think the way forward is no matter how socially distant we have to be we have to be connected and it's a great way to be connected to people who want to like find like minded people and learn and inspire each other so it's a great flat platform i wish you all the best thank you and uh, god bless your daughter she she congratulations on her recent uh, 13th birthday thank you so much yeah you have a great day aisha okay. thank you thank you have a great day bye